Cysteine, Terry and Kowasi of Buffington. Um, Terry has a collection of papers uh, that are stored in North Carolina or South Carolina. North Carolina. Um, and we've been um, you know, given this opportunity to post them and, and uh, doing some Black History Month events. So um, that's where we do. Thursday, November the 18th, 2010. This is Terry Buffington, practicing culture and anthropologist. It's 9.40 a.m. in Tupelo, Mississippi. The interview is held in Mr. Brooks' kitchen with no other present. The tape recorder sits in the middle of the small kitchen table with an extension cord connected to an outlet located on the back wall. Mr. Brooks is seated opposite of the interviewer, allowing full emotional and facial connection. Mr. Brooks sips from a canned soda as he is asked a question. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great this morning. How about yourself? I'm good. Wonderful. I am sorry about the last time I interviewed you. I didn't have the control in the right place, so I got home to transcribe it and use the available resources to try to hear if you were there, and I couldn't hear it. So it turned out that I hadn't recorded it. I had to serve my son the other day, but I didn't get any of those interviews. I did the last time I was down through here. I wanted to do this a bit differently than what we did the last time we spoke. I am excited to talk with you because you were one of the first people to come to West Point as a high school student and a member of Chicago Friends, a support group of the Student Nonviolence Coordinating Committee, SNCC, which was an organization that supported the cause. Chicago was a main source of funding for SNCC. So I kind of want you to start this morning by you bringing me up to speed about what kind of life you had as a child. I want you to tell me what are the circumstances that got you involved in civil rights at such a young age? How old were you at the time? Oh, I guess I was 16, 17 years old when I was first introduced. Let's start back. Talk to me about your roots. Okay, my roots. Um, my family is from Mississippi, Mississippi Delta, Quibbon County to be exact, Slave, Mississippi. My people, they were farmers. Did they own their own land? How did they acquire their land? You know, I don't know. That's a little bit... I never knew. I just knew my grandfather. My grandfather, he had land, and his brother had land. So our people originally came from around uh, Inverness, I think. Inverness, Mississippi? Yes, Inverness, Mississippi. They migrated to uh, Quitman County. And where is Inverness, Mississippi? I, I don't know. What county is that in? I don't know. I think I've been there maybe one time. Inverness. Andrews, Mississippi is located in the Floor County, Greenwood, Mississippi. Okay, well, my grandfather came to Whitman County, Marsh, Mississippi. My great grandfather's brother got in touch with my grandfather and told him that he should come to Whitman County. And my grandfather, he did, came to Whitman County. I know my grandfather, he had land all joining each other. And my grandfather sold a plot of land and we moved to another area. The land was so, well, my uncle said the land was poor land. They only made $1,000 that day. The land that they farmed, they just made a thousand dollars. It wasn't enough to even live off of. What year was this? Uh, let's see, I really don't know. I was very small. I think I was probably about maybe six or seven years old at the time. I just started school. When were you born? I was born in 45. In Mississippi? Yes. 1945? 1945, March 28th, yes. Okay. And I never remember that after my uncles decided that they didn't want to farm anymore, they went to the army. And then my family all migrated to Illinois. My mother, myself, and my brothers and sisters. It was the three of us at the time. I'm the oldest out of six children. After leaving Mississippi, I, I'm nervous. I, I'm nervous. I wasn't nervous the first time. I don't know why I'm nervous this time. Take your time. You probably had a lot to think about after I left the first time. Things that you hadn't remembered to talk about when I was here the first time. Yeah, that's true. I'm doing a terrible job the second time. Oh no, you're doing a beautiful job. 